Good morning, Richard Eckley here. Happy Thursday morning to you. Uh, we're on Thursday, so on a mindset Thursday on your four keys to a healthy, happy you. And the question is, do you think for yourself? And this may seem a rather silly question, but of course I think for myself. I have my thoughts, I think for myself. When you actually realize, actually have thoughts. If someone says, oh, what do you think about something? What actually happens is your conscious mind delves into the subconscious mind, brings a file forward on that particular subject, and then you say what you think. But actually, in your subconscious mind, that's all your previous past memories and beliefs that you've stored in there. And that's actually the way you get those is from people who've influenced you. Up to the age of about seven or eight, it's your parents or guardian. Whatever beliefs they had, whatever they told you, that's what you believed and stored in your subconscious. And then as you get an adult, it's your peers and your friends and the environment around you. Whatever you're hearing and listening to, that's what you're storing in your subconscious. So your actual, your thoughts aren't actually your thoughts. They're all the other people's thoughts you've received as you've grown up and experienced life. So it's not until you actually decide to actually, you want to actually start putting your own thoughts in your subconscious. You start to actually study things you're interested in. You start to find an interest or a subject you want to know about. Put that information in your subconscious. Then that is your thought. That's something you've actually put there yourself. The rest of it is just done through influence and through the experiences of other people around the world. They've been influencing you, influencing you as you grow up. So you're not actually having your own thoughts. You're not an independent thinker. You're just using the information that's been given to you. So it's not until you actually start to decide what information you want to put in your subconscious, you can actually get control of your thought process and then control your mindset. Otherwise, you're just repeating what other people are telling you. It's a bit like a, a great story I heard years ago. Was a is a as a, a botanist. He actually put together the, 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 a load of caterpillars. They're called processionary caterpillars. They tend to follow each other. So what he did, he got a flower pot and he put pine needles in this flower pot, which is the caterpillar's favourite food. And then he had the caterpillars themselves walking around the rim of the flower pot. And he put the position them as so literally one followed the other one. And then he put the last caterpillar in, which made the circle up. So they continue to walk around this circle on the flower pot. And they did this for over a week, consistently following each other. One just following the other, just following the other. And none of them knew what they were doing. And they said the pine needles are in the middle. But not one of them could break their thought process and think, hang on, pine needles are there, I'm going to get there. They just carried on following the caterpillar in front of you. They said they did this for a week until they got exhausted and fell into the pine needles, and then they could eat them. So it shows us how our thought process can be sometimes. We're not actually thinking for ourselves, we're just thinking what information has been given to us over our lives. So it's not until we actually decide, okay, now I'm going to start to control my mindset, put that bounce, if you like, on your conscious mind again, hang on. I'm going to choose what's going into my subconscious mind. I'm going to do what research I want, what information I want. And I'm going to start storing the information in my subconscious that I want, not that's just given me from the news, the TV and around me. So it's, yeah, it's realizing that we create our own thoughts and we're not always thinking ourselves. We're thinking from other people's thoughts. And that's just a new way of thinking things. So it's, yeah, all good. There you go. Have yourself a good one. All the best for now.